Hey everyone! So, um, you're gonna have to excuse me, I'm just gonna have my arm propped up on my knee because I'm too lazy to go get the tripod. And I have sat all day in a hard chair and I just want to sit on my bed and do this. So, um, today is Saturday. I turned 33 weeks on Thursday and the mom turned 33 weeks on Wednesday. We are both still pregnant. Um, not so much of a surprise for me, but it's a good, good thing for her that she's still pregnant. Um, she has been having contractions about every two minutes for a month. Um, and that sounds crazy and impossible, but it's true. Her, um, her OB is completely blown away every time she goes in. They have her on, I think, weekly NSTs, and um, they go in and they ask her if she's felt any contractions, and she's like, oh yeah, all the time, and they just can't believe that she's still um, contracting. And um, they have gave her the medicine to stop it, and it hasn't worked, and um, her uterus is just not loving this baby. So, um, the doctor did say that if she makes it to 37 weeks, um, she, um, he'll kind of help her along to go into labor. Um, so, um, I was kind of talking in that big update when I kind of told everybody about the second baby how I wasn't really sure how things would work out. I was talking to her a bit the other day and so she's planning on having her baby um, around 37 weeks and so she thinks she'll be able to make it down for when I deliver because I doubt I'll deliver that early. I'm thinking like the earliest will be 38 weeks but I don't, I don't know. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty much the update I have to give you for her. For me, I am very, very, very hesitant to say that I think the baby has flipped head down. Um, I have spent the last two weeks obsessing about different signs of how, you know, what, how to feel for the baby and all that sort of thing, because I am just apparently not as in tuned to my uterus as some of you guys are because I can't just for sure tell what direction he's facing. I know a lot of girls that are like, oh yeah, I can tell he's head down right now, and oh uh, yeah, he just flipped, and yeah, I, um, nothing. Um, I have had majority of my kicks and movements um, in the upper portion of my belly, so I'm hoping that's a good sign. Um, there was a thing I read that said, like, if you find, like, sort of the, like, a hard, roundish lump, and you push on it, and the whole baby moves, it's the butt, and if it just moves by itself, it's the head, and the whole baby moves, so I'm hoping that. Right now, I just, just checked right before I did this, and I almost think he might be sort of... I don't know, head down, but I don't think his head is directly in my pelvis yet. I think it's sort of like on the side because I can, when I push on one side, I can feel him move against like part of my hip. So sort of like he's like this, not quite, like not transverse. I don't know how to explain it, but I don't think his head is in my pelvis at the moment. But I know it was the other day. I, I, I'm pretty sure it was the other day. So, um... Yeah, uh, I'm trying to just stay positive. I am working a lot on my posture. I sit up with my legs spread apart, sort of open up my pelvis when I'm sitting, and I um, try not to slack. And um, like I was reading, like if you lean back like this, that sort of um, convinces the baby to go breach. And so I've been trying to do just little things. I'm really hesitant to do, I I did, when I knew for sure he was breech, I did the whole prop your butt up on the couch and lay like 
and have your head on the floor thing. Um, and I did that for one day and then the next day I think is when I f started noticing he was different. And um, I'm kind of afraid to do it again because I don't want him to flip back around. So I've just been sort of cooling it. Um, I have an appointment next Wednesday, so in like four days, and it's nothing exciting, it's just a heartbeat check, and I'm hoping the doctor will feel my stomach and see what he says, and then I'll go off that. And then two weeks later is my next appointment, and that's the ultrasound, and the doctor wants to sort of start talking about things depending on his position then. And so I really, really, really need him to be not breech um, before, not, I just need him to be not breech. So um, I will know for sure, well, hope, well, as close as the doctor can tell me, I will know on Wednesday what position he's in. And then if he is head down, I'll start using my ball more and that sort of thing because I was go I was starting to use my ball when he was breached because I'd heard that that would help turn him around and then I had several girls tell me not to because um, if they are breached that ball will just open up your pelvis and lodge his butt in there and so I stopped using my ball and so if he is head down I'm gonna be back on the ball all the time sitting there <laughs> trying to get him to stay <laughs> Um, yeah, so I have had a couple, I don't know if they're Braxton Hicks or not actually because um, they do hurt a little bit, but they're so irregular, they're not really contractions, so I don't know, but I've had a couple contractions here and there, and um, it's usually like one and then I don't have another one for like another day or so. Um, I, I don't know, it just, I'm sort of pumped about it because, um, I'm hoping that means that my body is wanting to do it itself this time and I'm not going to have to be induced, I'm not going to have to have a C-section and I'm just hoping that by having these contractions that I didn't ever have with my other two pregnancies, maybe... It's my body telling me like, hey, we got this. So, anyways, um, yeah, that's pretty much all the update I have. I know this is gonna cover like two weeks um, ish because nothing really happened the week prior. Um, sorry, I didn't do that, but um, oh, to give me an idea, my schoolwork—it's ridiculous. Um, I. Just today, I've done a 120 question exam and a five quizzes for the same subject that I did the exam in, and then um, a journal and another quiz for a different subject. And then yesterday, I did another journal and an annotated bibliography, which took forever. Ever, ever. It took like four hours to do. It was only like 11 pages long. It was ridiculous. And, um, yeah. Whew. I've just been so busy with school. And then I have a couple orders for my business. And I'm just trying to cram everything. Um, I think I was telling you, Mon or May is going to be insane. Um, May is finals, and for one class, everything else, luckily I don't have a final, an official final in. I have final papers, but not like a final quiz. So I have a final proctored exam in biology in May. I have a midterm coming up in the next like week in biology as well. It's midterm two, she separates her midterms. And um, I... We have to give, I'm so stressed out about May because we have to give 30 day notice, even if our lease is ending, to if we're planning on moving out. Our lease is ending the three days after I am due and I do want to move out of here um, just to somewhere cheaper. 
and uh, probably smaller, which is not lovely, but we'll make it work. And um, so yeah, I have to have a 30 day notice. Um, if I don't give a 30 day notice, I just go to a month to month contract, which isn't horrible, except for it raises a rent like $100 a month, which sort of negates, not negates, what's the word? Um, I mean, the reason we want to move out of here is because we're trying to save money, so. Um, yeah, and so we have to find a place sometime next month, and we have to find one that will let us move in the last day of May, and all that, and I'm stressed that if we're going to give our 30-day notice and then not find a place, or vice versa, like not give our notice, find a place, and then end up having to pay an extra month of rent here. It's just insane, and... I'm gonna go crazy and for that reason I'll be completely honest I sort of wouldn't mind horribly if the baby came a week or two early just because it's going to be so insane packing at like 39 weeks pregnant and moving around and then getting out of the hospital and the same day getting everything done and moved out it's just insane I know I keep saying that but my mind cannot process okay <laughs> um, what else? Oh, and then we are heading on a vacation. I think I mentioned this um, like three weeks after I'm due. And so I really want to be up and mobile and not bleeding and everything. So if the baby did come at like 37 or 38 weeks, I wouldn't be horribly depressed. But I mean, also I want him to have like the best chance and stay in there as long as he needs. But um, yeah, so... <laughs> Just lots of stuff and my head is going to explode and then on top of it I signed up for summer semester because I'm insane and also changed my major so <laughs> that's a whole nother video but um, yeah these next couple months I'm just I just hope that I survive them <laughs> um, anyways that's pretty much the update I will update you on next Thursday um, or well, I might record on Wednesday actually since that's the appointment and um, tell you the official status of baby and all that. So I'll talk to you later. Bye.